Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're doing well. So it's time for Friday night book haul, which I will get started with in a minute. Firstly, I wanted to show you, I have this box and it is full of packaging, as you can see. So my son came out last night and he said, I'm bored, is there anything I can do? <laughs> that is dangerous. So thought about it for a while and then I thought I'll grab this out. Now it looks like it's chock-a-block is full but he actually spent a good two hours on this last night and it's still got that much in it so he can spend another two hours on it tonight I reckon. And what I did was I grabbed him out the guillotine and I ended up with look at all of this it's all nice and cleanly cut ready for me to collage over stick whatever over use for tags i've got an idea which a lot of it will be going on but yeah just stacks and stacks of it so didn't he do a good job for his mum i'll just put these to the side and then he was like putting all the bits in the like chuck out pile and i said no 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 we don't chuck out <laughs> so got all these bits i'll have to do some of deborah ricks's um things she did with the coffee pod packaging those things because they were cool so so i've got heaps of stuff there to do all of that with i'll just pick up that bit that i decided to throw so very happy about that and he did an awesome job oops sorry better move that back so I have a pile of books here I haven't even organized them so they're in bags next to me at the moment so I'm just gonna have to drag them out as we go just set this up properly so not organized today I'm running out of time and effort <laughs> that might do all right so some of these might be rubbishy ones usually I go through and and sort them. Alright, got a whole pile of stuff here by the looks. Just ripping out all the start pages as usual and heaps of books. I reckon half the books had these like maps in them. So I was ripping all of those out and the pages that have, I don't know why I ripped all off. At the start it's got all the blank pages and I've got to use, going to use a lot of them with a lot of my cardboard so I thought I'd grab a whole heap we didn't have a lot of books to sort and put away so i was able to spend extra time going through the recycling which is deadly oh this is just something that one of the people must have found and was going to ditch and i was like nah i might be able to use that but we'll see i was thinking of covering it some more of the start pages they'll be shoved in here and there in between all the books in my bags this is the flinders rangers and beyond I grabbed a lot of books just because a few of them tended to have your vintage pictures. This is 72. So yeah, it has some really lovely vintage house and pub pictures and that. So I'll probably go through and take those out. The ones that I like and think I might be able to use. And that's lovely at the house there. That one I grabbed purely for the cover. There's a journal I want to work on probably next month. And I want orange for it. So that's going to be really cool. I reckon that's the colour I'm looking for. Something a little different. Grab this. It's Bush Versus. There are a lot of... um. Australian themed books in the bins today we do get a lot in and you know a lot of the time they don't all sell so we have to move some out to fit the newer ones in so a lot of bush poetry it's a whole heap of business cards in one of the books so grab them out German English to German and German to English Ooh, that looks healthy, doesn't it? What's the rest of it like? The rest of it's not too bad. It's just those start pages. 
Oh, they're nice little pages, which is cool. I think it is just to start a few pages are really dirty. That's 83, that one. There's some more bits and pieces here. The blank pages. Oh, I like that because it's got the elephant. And then again, a map. <laughs> This one, oh Shakespeare Hamlet. I just like the look of the pages and that. Might be good for collaging. Got this Canals Animals of the World Asia. Thick pages. Um, 1985, I think. Look, it even has illustrations, which is really cool. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love that. Look at the yell. Good pictures in that one. Uh, Haley's Comet over Australia. I saw something different. <laughs> I'll probably do a space theme journal sometime, so. It's a cool picture. Australian Bush, then and now, Woman's Weekly, this one is. on that one, not that it matters. You always get the good vintage pictures in this sort of thing. So, yeah, so it's got like, like it says then and now, so it's got the newer stuff as well as the old and vintage. This is Woomera, the first 50 years. That's interesting too, isn't it? It's like more space stuff, defense stuff. There's a rocket, that's cool. So there's some cool pictures in that one. Adelaide Zoo, which of course I live quite near Adelaide. I'm only about 30 minutes away. I actually drove down there yesterday to pick up lots and lots of file folders. Nice picture. Look at those penguins. And the kookaburra. They're nice pictures. Pages. Is there a map? Yes, of course, another map. Must have been um, sci fi day as well. Sort through sci fi books. Oh, I love that one. The other end of the leash. I just love the little picture, so I had to grab that out. Some junk that was in one of them that I've grabbed that'd be nice to cover over. Slip into a journal somewhere. All these plans that I never get done. Uh, the Balfour story, I think um, most, all the, you know, all of us Aussies know Balfour's as making good pies and pasties. But I like the ads that it's got in the back there, vintage ads. Might have some more vintage stuff in there, not sure, didn't really have a look. Yeah, it's got a few vintage pics. See if there's stuff for a glue book in there as well. Oh yeah, that's nice. I really like that sort of thing. Then I've got Australia, a Camry study by Frank Hurley. Look, a map. This is 56. I didn't think it was that old. It's got some writing in the back. I'll have to read that. 
again more vintage style pictures The colour ones are nice too. So, whoa. I used to look at pictures like that and think, hey, you know, they're so old and ugly sort of. Now I look at them and I absolutely love the coloration in them. So feel a sneeze coming on I'm just warning you just in case and no I'm not sick I ran out of antihistamines <laughs> the other day and I thought oh I won't go down and rush down and get any I'll leave it for a day or two oh my goodness me my nose has been running I've been sneezing all the time and I'm itching all over so I dashed out today to get them but I don't usually take them until the morning so now I've got to wait till tomorrow morning now some more nicely coloured pages and the book thingy me jiggy thing. You can tell my brain's working. That's what happens when I've been at work. And then I went and talked to my mum for an hour or two and then I went shopping. Yeah, come home and I'm, my brain's fried. Transport in Australia. nice vintage that's what I was hoping some nice vintage transport pictures look at that really cool I just love that we can grab stuff like this save it from going into the rubbish and make something cool with it This, oh, it's a Happy Easter cards. Over 150 creative ideas for making your own cards. With all the books that I'm collecting about making cards, one would think I might be able to make a decent one one day. But yeah, great for ideas and even the pictures. There's nothing stopping me from cutting even just the pattern out and using that on a tag or something. And even the words, the flowers make embellishments out of all the embellishments that are in here which I might do one day in my dreams student atlas because I haven't got enough atlases uh -huh. and another thing that I find hard to not grab 98 You might hear my son yelling. He's playing games with this one particular friend he plays games with that he seems to yell a lot. Don't know what that says about it, but yeah. This is Molly Katzen's Still Life Sampler. 24 colour prints you can frame plus 16 recipe cards. So it's got these are the recipe cards. Do they have pictures on the other side? No, I didn't think so. So are they? How thick are they? They're sort of a thickest page. So I can leave them as is and slip them into recipe journal. And if I don't like the recipe, I can just cover them over and make them into a journaling card. And then they've got these prints. That'll be cool in my um, yeah, citrus journal. So some funky designs there. There's this Illustrators of Australia. I thought this oh, this probably have some really good glue book fodder and art journal sort of stuff. 1999. It was published. Very interesting. Lots in there though, isn't there? So what I must do is get some boxes, big boxes, and one I'll label for like glue book, an art journal, and put that sort of thing in there. I think. 
So that's the first bag. Another, another few business cards. I think it was a tattoo. Yeah, I think I've got a book here that's like tattoos or illustrations. And so someone obviously liked a tattoos and has all these. So that's a really cool business card, that one. Right, next. I hope you have got a cup of coffee or tea or whatever. Uh, introduction to the National Gallery of Australia. I'm not going to bother looking at the date, 90s or something. So just do uh, artworks. That'd be cool, fussy cut. Now, all these things just spilled out. I will pick them up. These were in there. So I grabbed them. I don't know what they are because I didn't look. <laughs> My house is so full of stuff, I tell you. <sighs> it is an addiction. Okay, these are blessings on your birthday. Oh, they're like religious cards or something. Um, but what a cool little size they are to cover. So yeah, I'll be using them, covering them and putting them into my journals as little journaling spots, I think. So that's cool. A lot of bases there. Uh, Delta Vogel Encyclopedia. That's what it says. Must be German or something. Or something. Netherland. Uh, 1977. Oh, that's an interesting one. Is it just birds? Not that I mind if it is. Not the best pictures, but subject matter, beautiful. Yeah, that's lovely. Lots of lovely pictures. And I even like the pages. They're not, they're matte. So I might make some pockets and things out of those. Oh, that's beautiful. This one, I grabbed one of these before, so I didn't even look in it and just grabbed it. Baby Boomer's Diary 1990. That's, look at that, stamp pictures. It's all sorts of stuff. Who's that person that I just saw? Now I won't find him. Someone I flicked past and it looked like someone on TV, but now I can't find it. Oh, look at the birds. I'm going to have to give you a close up of this one. Sorry about the shadow again. Must be the time of the day with this setup. That's really cool. And then this is the Book of Creative Crafts. It's another thing I do find hard to pass up is craft books. This is 78. So they're cool because they're nice and cream, cream colour. So I reckon they'd make really good filler pages. But I'll always like check out the craft first and see if it's something I think I might like to make myself one day. And if it is, I'll pull it out and put it in a folder. There's some are crummy. I was watching Ray Lee on Crafts from the Dungeons do some are last night. Macrame, however you say it. Bar jelly. Got to give that a go one day too. Would ha you'd have to... Um, must be a bit, lot quicker than doing your cross stitch. And I used to... Cross stitch is about the only craft I've really done before. A bit of cross stitch. Or six seeded it before. <laughs> oh, another atlas. Family Atlas of the World. 
Don't bother with the date. It's not very old. They'll be nice. They're matte, so I'll dye or paint those, I reckon. Lots of pages in that one. This is a big book. This is a Australian fishing book. Must do some masculine themed journals. I used to love fishing. 1986 this one is. I must go fishing again. Go and rid the River Murray of carp. I like this one because it's matte. Or a lot of it is by the looks. And it has a lot of the yeah, smaller pictures. and that, that smells though. I don't know if it smells bad but it smells. Near the front I saw some more interesting pictures, but yeah, the lures and stuff probably. And description of a fish, that sort of thing. Next one is Trumper, the illustrated biography. It's about a cricket player. Uh, nice vintage pictures is what I saw and I don't think they're all cricket vintage but that's cool because I am like collecting stuff like for a golf journal not that I really like it but I just think they're great things to try out sometime so I'm getting some good stuff for a golf journal and this will be really good for a cricket one because they're nice little shots for um, journaling cards and embellishing envelopes and that sort of thing and it does have some vintage photos of people and things like that. I think I grabbed this just for the book cover. It's a nice little one and it's brown, so I like that. Some more of the coloured pages and blanker sort of pages that I'll use to back tags and that with. They had a whole lot of better homes and gardens. And... This car book, what I liked though is it has some vintage pictures in the back. Well, not necessarily vintage cars, but it looks nice and vintage, so I, li I liked those. It's in the black and white, and then you've got the coloured ones. And some more pages from the backs of the books. So yeah, the one, two, better homes and gardens. Another one, got three of those. I like looking for those ones. Home Beautiful and a gardening mag. I won't bother flipping through those. You know what they've got in them. So that's the second bag done. So there's a German to English. I think it was German to English before, wasn't it? This one's 1968. Nice red page in there. Southern Coast Encounter Railways. Glossy but nice old pictures of the train. Steam Ranger, where I live actually, um, is where this uh, the Steam Ranger runs from. So, and it goes to Victor Harbour and that. Another pile. Got some old ones here. I love the little embossed lamp there. The Heritage of Literature series it is adventure and es Adventures and Escapes. That cool picture, the elephant carrying his baby. Now does this have a date? This one's 57, but nice colour on the pages and it's nice and little too, which is cool. 
this one has some more embossing the four feathers I think it says four feathers yep this one's 1921 so this is pretty that's really good nick for being that old beautiful photo there and it's like stuck in as well that someone's cut it off and stuck it in or something I wonder if it has any more pictures the nice thick pages look like there's any more pictures which is a shame nice old book paving the way a romance of the Australian bush I love the way that that's been done might even try and keep that it's a back like might keep the front and back and just add a spine to it then make a little journal with that this one's quite old as well 1913 that's great I always like to see if I can feel the typing can't really feel it on there a nice old book that one an Australia, Australasian anthology. Uh, this one's 1946. So is it all poetry in that, I think? So that might be interesting to have a read of. Doesn't that look old, day? Nice and dark. Cruising Guide to Historic Golf Ports. Oh, I grabbed this just because it's the type face or whatever you call it. The font are quite light and I think um, tea dyed and that that'll be quite neat to do something with. Some more pages that I've ripped out. A uh, man of tall ships and small wooden boats. And it probably just has some vintage style pictures in it. Let's see if any of them interest me. What is that dog doing? He's jumping. <laughs> He's pretty keen, isn't he? Jumping that eye. Look like a Kelpie. Yeah, looks like my old Kelpie. I suppose she could jump pretty high when she wanted to. I love that picture of the ship there. Australian Transport and Illustrated History. Oh, look, we get a library card. That's a different one. Nineteen seventy-two. Should have some nice vintage pictures in. Yes. Lovely. I've got some great pictures in it. I must have ripped that out. That's the only bit I liked in that book by the looks. The Great Days of Wool. 1820 to the 1900s 1980 looks like mainly big pictures there were a lot as I said a lot of Australian themed books with vintage pictures so I just grabbed them 
have to do some packs up with the Australiana themed goodies in one day. Oh, Cracky, some of these books are heavy. What is this even? I have no idea. But it's got vintage pictures. Cosmo Howley, a short history of a gold mine. I don't know if I bought it thinking I'd dye the pages or what. It does have a few little cool pictures. This is a good question. Heavy. Um, <laughs> I said this is and it actually is. This is Australia. <laughs> so this is Australia. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, Christmas 1947. It was gifted to David with much love from mother and dad. That's a lovely picture. Beautiful vintage pictures. That's a lovely book. We have Tales of My Grandfather. Another one typed, so I would have grabbed that to um, dye the pages probably. And the other side's blank, so I can copy dye those and stick them in a journal. The How Long Selection, dedicated to the people of How Long, which is apparently there. So I can use this as a really cool card on the front and back too. Reuse that. Go through and see if there's any decent, there's some nice vintage pictures and that again. A few bits and pieces. Now it's nearly the third bag. Let's grab the last couple of books out of this one. This is Australian Bush Poems. Newer 191. It's got little pictures in the poetry. And Australian Pioneers. Again, more vintage pictures. Oh, that's really nice. I'm going to say photo, but it's a painting or something. There are a lot of people that I've seen lately do Australian on a thing journals, so a lot of this stuff might be in demand. Two more bags to go. Just make sure that my battery is not running flat on this. No, good. This is Land of the Sun. It's a shame that it's so worn at the top because that is a beautiful cover. Nineteen twenty-four. No wonder it's worn. Lovely picture. It looks like I might have a few pictures too. Yeah. 
I don't know if any of them are that good. Nice pages, so. This is for the term of his natural life. Now this one's 1911. It's a very old, nice thick pages. This one I would have got purely for the cover because I really like the colour of it. It's a nice width too. Nice interior pages. Oh, the pages are great to use as well. Love that. Look at that. Early Settlers Household Law. Awesome looking cover. So I definitely have to reuse that. This one's 77. So it's like recipes, beverages. That'd be cool for recipe journal, wouldn't they? Another one that I got just for the cover. Just like getting this size, it's really cool because you don't have to cut the A4 pages down much when you fold them. You usually just have to cut some of the height off, mainly. That one's a little bit warped though, so we'll see. Now more of the pages that I pulled out. This is A Hole Is To Dig. A first book of definitions of first definitions. Oh, I think I just liked the sun is so it can be a great day. You know? Hands are to make things. I just found the illustrations cool. Rugs are so you don't get splinters in you. Cats are so you can have kittens. So that's pretty cute. This Dispossessed Australians. I thought there might be um, people interested in this. They're lovely pictures. Let's see if there's a date on that one. 84. I like the texture on this. Early days of Prospect Hill. That's that one picture. Does it have more than that? Maybe not. I'll use that one picture. And oh, I think it's got one more. Yeah, so I might use the pictures. I'll definitely use this cover. More papers. Yeah, that's another one that I grabbed for the cover. I like the green. And there's these little ones. A Tale of Two Cities. Got the right way around. Someone's been writing in it. I like to read that as well. I've had another copy of this that I've got somewhere. The King's Treasure of Literature. This would be really old. Isn't that beautiful? I'm careful with these pages. Feel like tissue paper. 1957. Not as old as I thought. I reckon I've had an older one. And this has got the embossing just there. 
and it is black arrow I love the spine on it really cool oh it's another one like it must be in the same series as the one that I just showed before I just love these so it's 1946 this one this one is a Christmas Carol by Dickens some more nice embossing there I think it looks like it's gifted in 35 oh it's just lovely tiny little writing in it too or typing so that's going to be really cool is that another picture? no I was hoping it would be another picture well there are a few in there I'll never find it again though and the lovely pages definitely use those Bag full. Oh yeah. <laughs> Obviously I've got that one just for the cover. Yeah, it's about sports. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, lovely cover. Really good neck. It's sort of like a what do you call that colour? I was gonna say lilac, it's definitely not lilac. Like a mauve, I suppose. It's in between pink and purple. Bright, that's what I call it. This one is a hundred great Australians. Get it up the right way. Mm, it's not 1941, no. 1983. Again, I just thought maybe some vintage pictures. That one's cool. Who's that? Gladys someone is it? I should probably know but what does it say? Gladys Moncrief oh yeah some of these ones are quite nice ladies the page is quite nice to make some envelopes and that out of This one is Pride and Prejudice, Jane Eyre and Cranford. Cranford. That looks old. Like really old. So old I can't turn the pages. is illustrated by cool might have pictures and does it not have might have to look this one up let's have a look where are these illustrations this looks like I might have one there we go the teacher inflicted a dozen strokes so there are a few pictures in here so I'm going to look up how old this one is and I'll see if I can figure out the um, copyright status of it though is it only in one picture in the whole book oh no there's a few that's lovely another one I grabbed for the cover I like the color of it oh that had some pictures in it somewhere that I'll never find again white page that I yeah uh, ones like that now what else have we got in here these come out of some art folder I'm not sure what I'll do with them the masters I think they're really big so oh there's some little ones I can make stamps out of though if I 
show you. There's these little ones. They're really nice size for stamps. I think that's what we'll do with them. And then we've got these big prints, which they're not too bad a size actually to be able to fold as a center page. That one's very big. Still, maybe envelopes too with the really big ones. Might work with some of them, depending on my placement of faces and stuff. So there were so three of those sort of thing. But yeah, I do like those little ones. And Rembrandt. What's this? Oh, cats. 24 posters of cats for all the cat lovers out there. Look at that. They're cute in pictures, aren't they? I <laughs> just feel everyone hit me. Nah. <laughs> all the cat lovers. <laughs> they are cute, though. And don't worry, I have lived with a number of cats. I lived with three cats at one stage, and one in particular um, liked my hair and used to jump up all the time and um, go under my hair and hang around the nape of my neck. That was quite annoying. <laughs> but I left it there because I was a softy. Oh, they are gorgeous pictures. And then the last thing I got was a stack of these collector things. Man, I have like, I have so many of these, which I must start doing something with. I keep forgetting I've got them, so I've got to go through and sort them out, I think. A whole lot of these. Primitive animals. So yeah, but you know, the pictures are cool and you can use them as flip outs. Or was it Bonnie, I think, from Bonnie and Clive, I saw making pockets with them and stuff. So you can do all sorts. Nice and sturdy. Some beautiful ones there. So, and there were insects, I think, here somewhere too, which is really cool. Yeah, there's the butterflies. So that's awesome. So that is it for me tonight. I finally got through them all. I hope you aren't asleep at this stage of things. And I shall be on again, hopefully tomorrow. I have a giveaway that I must organise. I'm hoping to get that up tomorrow, so keep your eye out for that. Um, it's about time I did my 500 subby giveaway. Ha ha ha. I'm nearly at 700, so <laughs> better late than never, I reckon. So I better make it a good one. Um, so, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe wherever you are. Take care. Try and have fun. And I will see you soon. Bye.